it is time. The outside is basically completely done. All eight spires are done. I even shaved the one that I didn't like to look more like the others. All eight wedding cakes are done. It's time that we dig down. But I did want to apologize if it's about something that happened on Saturday uh, last week. Uh, it's Thursday now for you guys, but um, Saturday was Halloween for us American people. I don't know if Halloween is elsewhere, but if it's not, then you guys are missing out. You should totally have Halloween. But anyway, I streamed on, on Saturday, and uh, it was a bit later because I had a last-minute thing, and uh, it was fun. And we, 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 did a, we did this over here. This landscape over here that I hadn't quite finished yet, and it's looking pretty cool. But, after I finished stream, I hit end stream, but I didn't hit stop streaming on, on OBS. Now, OBS, when you hit start streaming, it means it's recording everything and broadcasting it for streaming. But it shouldn't be able to start a stream unless you go onto YouTube or Twitch or some other streaming site and you hit start stream. I didn't do that. And yet a random stream just somehow started called Stormlord Zeus's Stream. But since I, right after I finished my stream, closed my computer and went trick-or-treating, I didn't notice that I was streaming a black screen for four hours. So anyone who saw that and was confused, uh, that was not the stream. The stream was earlier and should be on the channel. But I apologize for uh, streaming darkness for four hours straight. Also, I did want to know what you guys wanted, thought about this, because over there it's just a straight line between the stone and the grass, with some variation, but it's it's relative it's it's re a relatively clean line. But over here, I tried out doing some I don't know what you'd call it mix mixing I guess the grass mixes into the stone and the stone mixes into the grass, and I think it looks pretty well, especially especially because um, it just doesn't really look all that good when it's just like straight clean cut edges more or less so I think I might do that all the way around which it'll take some time also down here I don't know what I'm gonna do I, I, I plan on making it look a little like this all does but not quite as uh, drastic it might just be a few smaller spy of uh, like a few of these spires here coming out maybe use some cobblestone and slabs and stuff make it have some more variation, but that is for another day. As now, we have a tunnel to dig, meaning it's time to dig straight down. Whoa! Oh my gosh! I have a single heart left. Jeez, I thought I was gonna die. Wow. Who knew I was so heavy that slamming my face into the circle here would punch a hole all the way down to bedrock? How did that hurt? I'm going to need to eat a lot of steak to repair the damage to my head. But dang, this is deep. Because this started up like way up here. At, oh, here's the little entrance to my improvised storage system. This is at like 76. And it goes all the way down to bedrock? Well, this sure saves me a ton of time. I'm sure I'm glad about that, but I think, I think I'm going to use my god powers, the powers of Zeus, to send my spectator account back in time so that he can record a time lapse for you guys to see all the effort that must have gone into this hole.
time lapse and let's get a flying view of this pit because dang does this look so cool it adds oh i fell it adds just so much to the build and i it, it was just definitely missing this this all brings brings the whole thing together the crystal in the air above the giant pit i do want to do a little smoothing it goes from steady 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 drop it's a, a, a bit drastic i might i might might smooth it out a little bit but for the most part i am satisfied with it and now comes the most important part of the base the actual base of the base in the side of this hole here we're going to dig out a huge storage hall slash throne room and hopefully it'll it'll fit and not be too tall and poke out the back but i don't think it will because we have a lot of room in here so i'm going to get working on that but first i'm gonna need to get some materials so if we just fly back home and uh i don't know what heck kempo decided it'd be fun to just put some snow here for some reason he, he put it on my area he even, he even put it in here and he put he put it all, all the way over to hunted skelly's area and maybe boy mcboy is the old area but yeah it looks like it goes all the way wow I, I some of it got removed from some lava that i accidentally spilled while making a basalt farm it's not a farm it's more of a generator but it's it's the same thing you've got ice on one side lavas on this side soul soil underneath and then with a haste to beacon that i put right here because i i, I wanted to put it right here because i mean it, beacons go through bedrock but i just felt like it'd be cool if it was the one spot through the hole and it actually looks pretty cool with the snow i think i'm gonna leave the snow up here or maybe just everywhere i don't know if i, I don't feel like removing the snow so it's gonna stay here but this goes all the way down to the bottom of the world so i get haste to everywhere around here and that means I can instant mine the basalt. And so it just regens and I just chunk it away almost instantly. And it gets collected because under this row of soul soil, which are full blocks, we have a row of hopper mine carts, which can pick it up through the full blocks. And below that is a row of hoppers that puts it all into this chest, which I've already mined up a full double chest full of basalt, which is probably far more than we're going to need for this build, but you never know. I, I, I didn't want to mine it normally. That, that's dangerous. So this seemed much simpler. And it got it us. It got us it. It got it us. Yeah, it got us. It, it got it us the, the basalt a lot faster than if I had gone out and looked for spires to mine because that takes forever. I wanted to put it on the other side here, but I dug out the area and then was digging under it for the hopper mine carts and it would just barely run into this sorting system for the piglin farm so that didn't work i had to move it over to the side and it's just one block over like this is probably lava and yeah okay i do have yeah that's lava right there so it fits perfectly in i had to move these chests over but that's that's fine and yeah it's nice and compact you just got the chest underneath and then shoot mine really fast i think it looks nice and yeah uh done and dusted quick and easy now, there are a couple more things that we need to do here. One of them is pick a spot, like how high do we want this to be? Because it's going to be decently tall, so if I do it right there, it might, the very highest part might come all the way up to the surface, or what used to be the surface here. And I want two of them, so I can't put it so low that the entrances are touching. Because one is going to be a big old storage hall slash throne room, and the other directly opposite it will be a villager trading hall probably not as big or fancy i don't have as much time to do that i'm hoping to finish the throne room storage hall today or in this episode and then do the villager thing next episode and then the space will be done for all intents and purposes because i will not have time to do any of the other things i want to do which to be honest it's not a lot it just just some little variations like using slabs throughout this whole thing i haven't used a single stone slab and if i had i could probably make it look a lot uh smoother and cleaner but I, I don't have time to do that so it's all just full blocks and i'm gonna leave it at that the other thing i need is a couple more resources i'm gonna go off camera of course because it's boring 
mine a whole bunch of shroom lights because I don't need a ton, but I've mined all of the ones near our base, like the, the warped forest that is at the bottom of the, of the nether tunnel. It's like completely devoid of all shroom lights. I got really close there, my apologies. But I'm gonna have to go collect some of those and I need some red nether brick. It's, it's a big part of this build. Not a huge part, but I still need a decent amount of it and I don't have enough nether wart. I have plenty of nether bricks though from piglin bartering. So I'm going to have to make a bigger nether wart farm because mine gives about a stack and a half each harvest and it takes forever to grow. Nether wart is the worst to farm. I hate farming it and I'm gonna need quite a bit because it takes two nether wart per red nether brick block if I do recall correctly. So a stack and a half is only 48 pieces and I'm gonna need more than 48 pieces. So I'm going to get on those two resource collection thingies and then decide where I wanna put this thing. Flying back over here after getting all of the materials that I need, hopefully. There's one more thing that I need to get, but I can do that later. It's the last thing that I need to get. But now, I've chosen where I want to put it, and in case you can't tell, uh, it's the big flat, 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 flat wall over here. It's, 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 it's at layer 50. Uh, if you look at my, my Y cord, I am at layer 50, and just across the way, I'm going to put the other entrance also at layer 50. I just have to decide which side do I want my storage system on and which side do I want my villager trading hall on. And I'm thinking we go storage hall over there on the opposite side of my nether portal and sto smaller storage system and be put the villager hall below this, below where we are right now, because that side of the donut is filled in. Meaning if I go up high with a tall throne room, I won't run into the open empty area that I have in this half of the donut. So I'm thinking we hop into another time lapse and we get all this stone mined out and as much of the throne room done as I can. And it's gonna be a lot because I have a lot of free time right now to get this done. Boom! Hole! Throne room? Ready? Let's go!
<sighs> Little is more satisfying than completing a big build in Minecraft. Even if it's just a piece of a build and not the entire thing. Like basically everything I've done here hasn't been the entire thing all at once. It's been little pieces, but it is very satisfying to complete something large and have it turn out really well, which this did. One problem, though, I need that, that one resource that I said I was going to get later. I already have it, but I need to do one thing to it to pre prepare it, or I guess three things before I have what I need for the final piece of this build that you'll get to see in a little bit, don't worry. But first, I need to go smelt some netherite. So I'm back in my base and we have, I've had this, this shulker box in here for a long time and many of you have seen it in stream or in video and stuff. And so some of you know what's in this. And it's very important. There are two, two important things in here. One is n almost nine stacks of ancient debris. The other is my wandering trader killing kit which I will remove as I don't want this going through the smelter. Now back earlier in the season when I started mining this ancient debris, I wanted to smelt a full shulker box of ancient debris. That was what, something I really wanted to do. I just never had the time to do that. It took me two to three hours per every three stacks and a full shulker box of TNT for that. So while I did have the resources, I had the sand, I had the gunpowder for that much TNT, I just didn't have the time. And so, we're going to place this shulker box of nearly nine stacks of ancient debris in at once, and watch as it smelts. And then it'll come out here. So I just hopped over onto the spectator account, and this is just so satisfying watching ancient debris just fill up because it is a pain to mine but man do I have quite a lot of it and you'll see exactly what I want to do with it in just a little bit in this video I will use up maybe more than what I have I might have to mine more I hope not because I don't have time to do that it is 10 30 the night before this video needs to come out and all the loading and uploading stuff takes a couple hours so yeah hopefully it'll go it'll, it'll be enough it is all smelted ready for me to hit this button and pull the shulker box out of the system because it doesn't do it automatically unless you put in a full shulker box you have to hit this button because otherwise then you'd have all sorts of problems so without further ado it pops out and then it takes quite a while for it to come through all the redstone and up the water elevator and through the water stream and right into my hand or the chest which then goes into my hand and up the ladder we go because we need to get some gold I have a decent amount of gold up here I have even more at my piglin bartering farm I haven't been using it that is not enough but I will have to grab more. Here we go. A stack of netherite ingots. Oh my gosh. This is just crazy. I've never had this much netherite ever. I wanted to get a beacon. That would take forever, even longer. Two stacks of netherite ingots and 14 more. Awesome, and one extra ancient debris scrap. Okay, that used up almost a full stack of gold blocks. Well, because I almost had nine stacks of ancient debris, so that makes sense. How many blocks of this can we make then? 15? I think I need 14 blocks of netherite, and I have 15 blocks of ooh, lag. Nether lag? All right, anyway. Last thing I need to make with this netherite before I go over there is, where is my, there's my stone. Nope, that's a furnace. I need some of these bricks. I, did I have some? Oh yeah, I did. Uh, there, uh, I need these because I want to make a, how do I make a, a lodestone? Is it not just like that? That's not a lodestone. Huh, how do I make a lodestone? Okay, so it's the chiseled stone bricks. That makes more sense. Okay, so that that works. Uh, I have a second lodestone. I got one from a piglin. Uh, what are they called? I got one from a piglin bastion. 
and I need a second one because they they make great decorations. And now this shulker box will purely be for my wandering trader killing kit. Now, you're probably asking, why do I need 14 blocks of netherite? They're not used for anything other than a beacon. And so, you're right. Technically, they're not used, but I can use them for other things. And I'm going to make a throne. And it's not going to be one of those thrones that just looks like, you know, this little dinky thing. My throne isn't going to look like this. This is a terrible throne, and it doesn't look good at all, especially in my base. So, I have crafted a amazing looking throne that I need to build and I believe it takes exactly 14 blocks of netherite and I have just enough Hold your god That's right I have a huge flaming netherite throne and I can change its color if I want. If I just, you know, change, or say, change it to blue. And it's blue now. Although I would say that I think I like the red better, but let's get a view at it of coming into the Grand Hall. Hmm, I actually kind of like this better because it matches these soul lanterns here down on the first floor. And if you can't tell when I, you know, came in here all dramatic like, but there's two staircases up the sides that have uh, bulk storage. I mean, they're the same same amount of storage on both levels, but these will be hooked up with their hoppers behind them, and I'm gonna hook up some redstone filter systems so that you can put in a whole ton of items at once. You know, I think I might like it blue. I'm not sure. You guys wanna see the view though from my seat here upon my throne? Is epic. The ceiling is a bit low here, but I mean, I don't really care, and it would ruin all the patterns that I did on the ceiling. There's so much going on here, and yeah, I turned up my my spyglass to clear view for some of the from, for that because you can't take in the entire throne while you're sitting in it if you don't have clear view on. Whoa, lag! But yeah, see, look, you can't even see the whole thing. Not really in a good, good angle, at least. So yeah, okay, I'm stuck. I cannot wait to show off this to you guys, or for you guys to see this, I guess, in my episode, because I am showing it off to you guys right now, in the future, but right now. But I also can't wait for the other scratchers to see it, because I think it is epic. And down here, we've got two chests, which aren't actually hooked up yet, but this one will be an input for shulker boxes for for unloading into the bulk storage up top and this one will be where all the items that don't get picked up by the filters and the shulker boxes will end up so this will fill up with shulkers and then random assorted items that don't fit into any of the let's see if i have 12 i have to get 24 filters some will probably be the same because we'll probably need more than three chests for stone because i have mountains of stone or maybe I should say I have spires of stone because I quite literally do I have my chest plate on that is unfortunate however I am fine because protection four and feather falling together are awesome but yeah I have literal spires of stone I think it'd take more than more than three chests to fit some of these inside of them that's weird to think about three small little chests could fit a spire in it probably the only thing I'm not too happy about with this build is the entrance. Like, it looks cool and all when you're down there, but from up here, I definitely need to make the stone, like, pile up on top and maybe change some of the stone around it to basalt, but I do love flying in here. That was almost perfect. I hit my head right on the nose. Let me try it again. If I fly down and right in, I landed perfectly, I just took a whole bunch of damage. Yeah, it's not something you can make from down there. If you start from, like, right around there, you can make it in without hitting, but if you start from high up, it just doesn't work. Also, you have lava lighting on the sides in here. And so, yeah, I, this is a completed build almost, except for, you know, I've just got the hoppers. I don't have any of the filters or water streams that need to go here. That's why this area is so much bigger on the sides than it is for the actual build, is because I got a lot of redstone to do. But from the outside, that kind of looks like a face. 
Oh gosh, I can't unsee that now, but it just, it doesn't, it doesn't look so great outside. I have a whole bunch of torches to keep mobs from spawning on it. But building this was a pain. On creative, it was a pain to build. And if something's a pain to build on creative, you can bet it's going to be a pain to build in survival. Doing all these slabs and stuff is just so annoying. And it's, it's symmetrical. Or it's supposed to be. I don't know if it is actually symmetrical. I have no way of checking because it's all blending together because it's all blackstone. So I'm just hoping that I successfully copied it all and that nowhere ever did I make a mistake. Which is, you know, probably false. I probably made a couple mistakes somewhere because, you know, even gods aren't perfect. At least not all the time. Speaking of time, though, that is something I and we are out of for today, for this episode. Because it's, 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 it's really late, and I need to go to sleep. So, just gonna do a little outro for you guys, wrap up the episode. We did a lot today, and I am very proud of what we've done. There are a few touches I need to add, like making sure everything's lit up, and these little, oh, I fell in. But these little uh, cubbies on the side, I have filled up with gold, or I will have them filled up with gold. And there's there's some others, a couple over here, but they're so much deeper that I don't think I want to put anything in them. I don't, oh, I fell again. But I don't think I have anything I really want to put in them. And then I have a whole bunch of redstone to do off camera. So that's fun, and I ha I'll work on that before next episode. Maybe do some on stream, because you know, Doing redstone on stream is always a good idea. But thanks for watching. Thanks for taking the time out of your day for me. And I will hopefully see you next episode or stream. Goodbye. What did I just do? Oh my gosh. Oh. I flew in and I think I sat in the minecart while a light train. That was weird.